morning, ESM. As you know, we have school off tomorrow, November 11th, for Veterans Day. Our show will be dedicated to the meaning of Veterans Day, its origins, and how we can show our appreciation after news. New York State is raffling 50 scholarships for kids 5 through 11 that get vaccinated. The scholarship will cover all of the expenses at any New York State City of New York College. The state will start raffling the scholarships over five weeks starting November 22nd. The scholarships cover two-year and four-year schools. Only kids aged 5 to 11 are eligible or 12-year-olds that got vaccinated when they were 11. Governor Kathy Hochul said in a statement, this will unlock the door to a normal existence for all of us and it starts with the kids. If everybody gets vaccinated, we're going to protect all of our family members. Zachary Warden is hoping to get his votes to be featured in Game Informer to become his last, the last man standing. His journey began with him playing on his PC for fun and eventually hosting his own tournaments online and locally. So Zach is asking for votes for him to win. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Math leaguers, our second meet is quickly approaching. Please see Ms. Pelkey and G7 for your permission slip that needs to be signed before we go. Our next meet is next Tuesday the 16th, so see me today. Pitcher retakes will be this Friday, November 12th in the auditorium. You can stop in any time during the day to have your picture taken. If for some reason you did not get your picture package yet and expected one, you can also do a retake. You will be able to choose which picture you want. Two club group photos will be next week on Tuesday, November 16th and Wednesday, November 17th. Please see your club advisor for full details. A list of clubs and their assigned times can be found on esmyearbook.org. There will be a Spartan stage meeting on Wednesday, November 10th at 3.25 in the chorus room. We will elect officers and give an update on the musical. Please see Ms. DeBurgis if you are unable to attend. Are you looking for a club to join that will allow you to make a difference in your community and the lives of others? Do you want to make friends and participate in community service projects that make a real impact? The Key Club promotes good citizenship and civic engagement through service. Our first meeting will be held at 3.30 on Wednesday the 17th in room B3. Everyone is welcome. See Ms. Karochi or Ms. Mock with any questions. What you might not know is Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day, created on the year anniversary at the end of World War I. It continues to occur within the states on November 11th to commemorate the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, signaling the end of the war. It didn't officially become a national holiday until 1938 and was renamed Veterans Day by former President Eisenhower to celebrate everyone who has served in the armed forces. In 1971, Veterans Day was moved to the fourth Monday of October, but was quickly returned to its original date four years later due to its historical significance. To commemorate and show appreciation to our veterans, parades and memorial services are held across the states. In Europe, two minutes of silence are held at 11 a.m. on the 11th. Locally, there are numbers of ways to celebrate as well. Mr. Heward, who served in the Army, tells us one way. If you could introduce yourself, like your name, your branch, and your years of service. Hi, my name is uh, Jeffrey Heward, and I spent around 38 years in the military, combined regular Army and New York Army National Guard. Um, my branch has always been field artillery. Um, I've served six years in Europe, and I served one year in Afghanistan with the 27th Brigade, and I also spent another year in uh, Kuwait, Iraq, and uh, with the 27th Brigade. What does Veterans Day mean to you? Uh, Veteran Day, mean, what it means to me is it's a, it's a day to kind of honor the people that are serving in the armed forces and the people and the job that they do. So, I mean, no matter if you serve three or four years in the military or if you served 38 like I did. Um, it's a day to say thank you to them because they do make that sacrifice to be away from their families and to do that job. How do you show your appreciation? Um, every Veterans Day I go to the New York State Fairgrounds. They have a military parade there. I take my uh, son Chris with me so he can see and he gets to meet my friends because a lot of my friends go there that I served with and 
he gets to see like the different military vehicles. I can show him, hey, I've driven this vehicle before. I've worked in this vehicle before. Um, these are my friends that I went to Afghanistan with, and he, he has a good time. And, you know, we just spend the day together kind of doing that. What can the average person do to show their appreciation to veterans? Just say thank you for to a veteran, if you know a veteran, or uh, there are a lot of veterans around, so just say thank you and, you know, for your service, and just show some appreciation, you know, let them know that this is their day. All right, thank you for your time, Mr. Hewitt, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your support. Today we'll have a high of 54 degrees and a low of 34. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 59. There's also an 89% chance of rain in the evening. Friday has a 77% chance of rain and a high of 57 and a low of 40 degrees. about the meaning of Veterans Day and how to show appreciation from two local women who has also served, my very own grandmother, Darlene Keyes, and Miss Mancini. What is your job and how long have you been doing it? I have been a middle school math teacher at Pine Grove Middle School for the last 19 years. What does Veterans Day mean to you as a veteran? Veterans Day means to me uh, being able to come together as a community and be thankful for the commitment that people made to get into the service and be basically serving their country. And I'm very proud of the community that I come from who supports everybody that's ever been in the armed forces and serves to this country. So I'm just honored to be a part of that. How can we show support to the veterans and what are some things we can do for the veterans? So one thing you could do for the veterans that's very close to my heart is we have the VA, the Veterans Association Hospital that's located in Syracuse, New York. And we have a lot of veterans who could use a lot of support. Veterans sometimes go through um, difficulties in their service. And sometimes we have veterans that have a hard time finding jobs or basically living day by day. So one thing you could do is you could donate items to Pine Grove Middle School and or you could take it to the actual VA as a donation because they're looking for anything like crossword puzzles that help the veterans keep their mind kind of off of maybe some of their troubles. They can always use personal hygiene items like combs, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, things like that that maybe we take for granted and or just even writing are they a going to do sports or are they just coming back to a veteran. Saying thank you to a veteran, anybody that served their country or in the, um, their uniform now is tremendously helpful just to say thank you, but even writing a simple note to them really goes a long way. Veteran, um, I was in the Army only for nine months. I went to basic training in AIT in uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and uh, my first duty station was in the Mojave Desert at Fort Irwin. Um, I Veterans Day is a special day, not because I had so much service that I did, but for all the other um, service members who gave their time, were away from their family, who gave their lives. Um, it's very important to recognize them. Um, I, f I feel like um, teaching young people about um, what it means to sacrifice for your country is a good thing. What you're doing is a good thing. Uh, bringing, uh, giving a testimony about um, and letting people talk about their experiences. So um, mine wasn't too long, <laughs> but it did teach me a lot. And I learned a lot um, in basic The Syracuse men's basketball team started off their season strong with a 97-63 win over Lafayette. Joe Garrard led the team in points with 20 and both Jimmy and Buddy Beheim had 18 points. 
Yeah. I'm working with your supports. Today, make sure you stay tuned in for Friday's show where we'll talk about the teachers versus student basketball game. Have a wonderful Wednesday and make sure to thank a veteran in whatever way you can.